hello everybody welcome back to another weekly vlog and i am so happy today because guess what the sun is shining it's a beautiful day and the blue skies are out and oh my god it just makes me so happy first thing in this vlog that i wanted to talk about was supermarket flowers so i absolutely love supermarket flowers because florist flowers yes they are of course stunning but they're very expensive i love supermarket flowers but you just need like i feel like they just need a bit more care and attention um at the start to get them to look a bit more fancy and yesterday i picked up this big bunch of white flowers like there's a lot of roses there and these were five pounds five pounds for all of those roses um but if you just put them in a vase like that they they look nice but they they could look better basically so first up in this vlog while i'm sorting out my roses i thought i would just share a few little tips and tricks that i do with supermarket flowers to make them look more fancy more luxurious the first step is to remove all of the leaves so all leaves are coming off, taking off those green bits around the edge, taking off those outer petals. You can roll the flower upside down between your hands just to open the petals or almost just push your fingers into them to open up the rose. And how much more beautiful does that look compared to that? <laughs> cutting on a diagonal so more water can get to the stem. Next you're going to need some sellotape. You want to create a grid pattern along your vase. how you can make your supermarket flowers look fancy. I am still in the kitchen, but I've just got changed. In last week's vlog, I made a lemon drizzle cake. I've been using the same recipe for honestly like 10 years or more. Anyway, the other day I saw a video online. Instead of using butter and sugar, they used, where is it, condensed milk instead. And this stuff is the most delicious ever. I could just literally eat that out of the can on its own. Um, so I'm also making some cakes later for my dad for his birthday. I feel like there's been a lot of cake baking on this channel recently. Um, so I picked up the bits to try this new lemon drizzle cake. I'm excited. So we're going to make that later. But first of all, I'm going to make some early dinner. I love an early dinner. I haven't really had any lunch. So let's make an early dinner. I've got my HelloFresh order here, and this part of the video is in collaboration with HelloFresh. Really excited to be working with them again because I love HelloFresh, and one of the most tedious and repetitive conversations that me and Tom have is what are we going to have for dinner? We try and meal plan, but sometimes we just don't and then we're just scraping around in the fridge looking for things or sometimes we just don't know what to be making so hello fresh literally makes it so much easier for us we go online choose the recipes together and then we've got everything all ready to go that's one favorite thing about them and another favorite thing is that you get exactly what you need so there is no waste we've chosen three meals for this week we've got the fragrant veggie noodle stir fry butter chicken and turmeric rice and the pill pill inspired prawns i'm excited to make those i think i'm going to do 
the stir fry now. As I said, I've worked with HelloFresh before, but this is the biggest discount they've given me to share to you guys. So you can scan the QR code here and that will bring up all of the details. I've also linked everything in the description box below, but you can get 60% off your first box and then 25% off your next eight boxes. Also, just a reminder that you can pause, cancel, or change delivery address at any time. I'm sure you've all seen HelloFresh before, but another thing that just makes it so easy, on each of the recipe cards, they are numbered, which correlates to the numbers on the bag. So it's so easy and just makes like dinner time after a busy day much easier. I always have to top my stir fries with a generous amount of peanuts. I love that crunch and a couple of lime wedges as well. I make stir fries myself. I can never really get the sauce just right this is delicious it had um lemongrass ginger soy ketchup mayonnaise honey the combination is just delicious i'll leave all of the discount details in the description look at the mess i have created today and guess what i'm not oh my god i've got sauce on my chin oh my i feel like any normal person right now would say let me clean up this mess before making more mess. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna continue to make mess because, because I'm running on a tight schedule today and I've still got quite a lot of things I need to do. I'm gonna come back to this tidying up. So I'm just gonna like clear a space and um, make the cake. Also, um, I don't know if I'll get time to today, but maybe, but probably tomorrow, I have been doing a little bit of Zara shopping um, over the last couple of weeks. I've had a few little parcels, so I wanna show you those as well. But I wanna get this cake in the oven and let me show you it. It's this, right, four ingredient lemon loaf. That's it, eggs, condensed milk, flour, and lemons for the top, but that looks so nice. Right, let's give this a go. Condensed milk, self-raising flour, eggs, lemons. Let's preheat. It's an American recipe, so I've got my little cup, measure it out. Three eggs, one, two, three. If that isn't the most delicious thing, one cup of condensed milk, Okay, it's basically, that's basically all of it. <laughs> I didn't need to get the measure out. Whisk. I'm so excited to try this. Like, how crazy. Imagine if the condensed milk could actually replace the butter and sugar. I will link exactly her video below because she does put in, um, I think she puts in like the, the nutritional value, but it is a lot a lot healthier than actual lemon cake. Lemon juice. To see if it tastes like cake batter. Sorry, I know I just pulled a face like I didn't like that then. I think I was just trying to think about what it was. It does. It doesn't taste Oh, nearly spilled it. Now it's got everything in it. Doesn't I don't think it tastes as sweet as normal cake batter, but lemony. It is sweet, but it's not as sweet. Oh my god, that fritted the life out of me. Hey Google, set timer forty-five minutes. Okay, are you ready for a Zara haul? Um, I have been meaning to do this all week. I don't know why I'm standing peering around the corner. Um, I've been meaning to do this all week and we are getting round to it now. So, so I'd ordered some bits from Zara to have a good old try on and the thing that I was wanting the most was some nice shirt and trouser matching sets because sometimes I think when I don't know what to wear, 
this is what I go for and it's easy to throw on but it looks quite smart and put together. Oh my god, if this is Tom, he keeps pocket dialing me and it's, it, this is honestly the seventh time he's done it. And I've messaged him to say stop pocket dialing me. Hello? Honestly, give it a couple of minutes and it will happen again. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to get some some new little sets. Um, but to be honest, I just obviously didn't read the description of this one. I thought that this was going to be cotton, but it's not. It's like a satiny material. And I just feel like this would be quite sweaty if it's warm. And it's just not giving the vibe that I wanted it to give. I wanted more of like a casual set, but I feel like the material where it's a little bit shiny, it's a bit smarter. One thing I do really like is the bottom of the trousers. I like that detail. Um, and it is a really nice color and stuff, but it's just not quite what, what I had in mind. Okay, next up is another little co-ord, and I feel like this is more of the vibe I was thinking of. This is um, like a cotton and linen mix. I do really like this, but it's giving me... I don't even know what vibes this is giving me. I do like it, but it's a bit drab. That's the word my mum would use. Is it a bit drab? I feel like it's just like not anything special, is it? Saying that though, I do think this would be like the perfect airport outfit. Maybe the shirt is just a bit big. Like maybe if I went down a size, then it wouldn't be so like baggy. And I'm a bit undecided on this one. I do like it with the tan accessories and I feel like it's very like cool and laid back, but I just, I don't know. I'm not joking, it's happening again. We Here we go again. Hello. I'm gonna, I keep hanging up. Oh my God, it's, until he checks his phone and sees the message from me. I'm gonna send a little angry face. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got a little cardigan. Is this cute or not? I'm, I'm feeling that it is quite cute and like, it's quite nice unbuttoned. I've popped it on with this little satin midi skirt because I thought the colors worked really nicely together. I'm feeling a bit unsure of everything that I've tried on. I'm not sure they're 100% me. I don't know, like I do like this, but I don't feel like me in it. I think we're finally getting somewhere with this Zara haul. We have got ourselves a keeper, I think, um, this white bomber jacket. So do you remember the black version I had earlier in the year? Well, I missed out on the white one earlier in the year and it's back in stock. So I've got it and I really like it. I know some people think that the shoulder pads are too big and I do know what you mean. They are like quite oversized and like exaggerated, but I, I kind of like that. And I think this will be a nice white crisp jacket to brighten up um, any like late summer, autumn-y outfits. So, um, oh, this is a size small that I'm wearing as well. I think this is gonna be a keeper. And my final thing from Zara, you have actually already seen this set. However, do you remember, I've also just noticed something, the color difference between the shirt and the trouser. I will explain that in a second, why I think that's happened. But you have already seen this on the vlog, um, but I had a size small in the shirt and I just wanted to try the extra small because the small was massive and I thought, I feel like I could just go down a little bit and I think that this is like the perfect size. So I've had the trousers for a while and I've washed these trousers and I always wash my whites with Vanish, but they have kind of like bleached them a bit. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. Like the shirt's a little bit creamier and these trousers are now a bit whiter. So it looks like I'm gonna have to wash the shirt with some Vanish to get them looking the same again. And then the next two bits aren't from Zara, they're from H&M, um, but I just wanted to show you in here. So. Another piece that's been like really popular, and these keep going in and out of stock, um, these little cardigans. I really like them. I feel like they look so nice and smart, and I love them with the satin skirt as well. Um, but if you have missed out on these H&M ones, if they're not in stock when you want them, I'm gonna link below a really similar alternative that I have seen on the high street, and they are 
Yeah, they look so nice and maybe even nicer. I actually haven't taken the tag out of this yet, so I'm really tempted to order similar ones to see what they look like. So I'll leave those linked down below as well. And then this is the cardigan in cream. You might have seen this on other YouTube videos or on my Instagram because I actually have been wearing this one, which I really, really like. But I just wanted to include it in this little haul segment in case you've missed it. And as I said, the very similar alternative that I have found, um, they do it in cream as well. So I'll leave both versions linked below if you want to have a look at those. From having the back door open, there's so many flies in my house. Can you please get out? I've gone over there. Anyway, hello everybody. I'm fresh faced today because I've just got back from London, I don't know if you can see. But I've had um, my Botox topped up. Sometimes there's some like little needle marks and stuff. I've spoke about this before in the vlog, but not for ages actually. Um, and I do like to be open with this. Sorry about that noise, I'll tell you what's going on in a second. I have my Botox done about three times a year. Um, I've been having it done for a few years now. I think it was like a, like a few months after my 30th birthday, I had it done first and personally I've just loved it. The lady who does mine is amazing. I'll leave her details below, Dr. Selena, she's amazing. Like I really just trust her with it, so all good. The plan of the rest of the day, is so I've got some more work to finish off and then I've been putting off some gardening for so long so I'm actually gonna do that like taking up some weeds I've got some new lavender I want to plant and Tom is just building his new project there's always a project going on here isn't there the the short story of the long story is that we've got like an ice bath I'll show you in a sec it's more like a little I don't even know what to call it a little pod thing um, Tom wanted to get it. He's been getting back into playing football. He always used to play football. He's been getting it back into it, but I think where he's a bit older and has like lots of aches and pains, and he wants to try the cold water therapy for um, his muscles um, and for like his recovery after the game. And he can't just leave the pod as it is. He wants to make it like um, like a little surrounding for it or something okay so this is the one that tom got it's like a little pod um and then this is the cover where it's had the cover on it's been really hot so much warm air coming out of it um so yeah there it is it comes with this temperature gauge so we can um i don't even know how cold you're supposed to have it there we go that's the latest addition to our house we'll see how that goes I need to take all these big boxes to the recycling center later. So these are the pallets that Tom has picked up and I think he's taking these bits off to make like a little wooden cladding surround around it. Explain to the people of Instagram what it is you're doing. Building a box. Building a what? Box. A box. Building a box for your ice bath. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Bertie, what's all this noise going on? What's all this noise? Side of our house, there's so many weeds. Betty, do you want to do it? Can you pick them all up for me? Sorry about the noise in the background, um, but I got a new hydrangea plant. Well, actually, my mum got it for me. Um, they had them in, I can't remember if it was Lidl or Aldi, but they were £10. How lovely. So I need to find a new home for that. And I happen to have just, like, had the watering can out. And I just thought those two colours looked so pretty together, this, like, sage green with this gorgeous pale pink. Also, I completely forgot to update you on the cake, the, the condensed milk cake. It was a disaster. So I put it in the oven for 45 minutes, as it said to do so. When I took it out, it was quite burnt, but I thought, it's okay. But then actually when I cut it and like tried to have some, it was so rubbery. It was like chewing on a piece of rubber. It was so rubbery. But I think it could have been okay if it had been cooked for less time. I think if you'd have just cooked it for like half an hour, it'd have been all good. And it is my fault a bit. I should have checked it before the 45 minutes. It certainly wasn't my finest baking hour. What's the saying? If it isn't broken, don't fix it. Is that the saying? If no, I don't know. But you know what the saying is. My lemon drizzle cake at the moment is so good. I'm not going to defer from that recipe again. It's a few days later now, but I just wanted to show you um, the finished thing that Tom made to house the ice tub in there. Um, I'm going to go into more detail and show you all in next week's vlog how I'm using it. 
anyway i'm gonna love and leave you today um i hope you've enjoyed today's vlog i'll be back next week with another one i hope you're all doing so well and as always the biggest thank you for taking your time to watch my vlog sending so much love and i'll see you next week bye Thank you.